Hey guys, welcome back to Busted the Built. Today we got a 2017 Ford Escape in here. Check engine lights on, customer complaints, low power, and it's also got kind of an odd start to it. So they're talking about a long crank when it's cold. So I've had it running a little bit. We'll see how she fires up. Yeah, it started just fine this time, but uh, I'm going to say it's kind of got a little hiccup in its start too. So we'll see what's going on. We'll do a code scan real quick. And using our Think Tool Pros scan tool here, went through, did a code scan on all the modules. PCM's coming up with two trouble codes. Those are fuel system, pressure two low bank one, and crankcase pressure sensor A, circuit range performance. So that's what we're dealing with for trouble codes. Let's go take it for a test drive real quick, verify the customer complaint. Now we're out going for a little drive, see what's going on here. And so it seems to run all right and accelerate all right, kind of just mild pedal. If I stab it, it falls right on its face. It doesn't really want to go anywhere or do anything. And so I've also got my scan data pulled up here on the fuel rail pressure sensor. All right, so after driving it for a second, you can see that our fuel rail pressure is much lower than our desired fuel rail pressure. And we got a lot of hash in that too, actually. But crankcase pressure seems to be all right. But again, if we just hammer on it, we don't go anywhere. And desired fuel rail pressure spikes and nothing happens for actual fuel pressure. All right guys, so desired stays high, actual fuel pressure stays low. So I'm expecting got an issue with the fuel pump here. And I have seen this before where the fuel pump, well actually not the pump itself, but the lobe on the cam will wear through the roller or the little plunger for the fuel pump. So we'll get this apart real quick and see what that's all about. Got the fuel pump out, there's not much to it. it lives back here and there's just two Two little Torx head screws that hold it in and then it's got the in and the out. And then it's also got the connector for the regulator. But here on the fuel pressure, or sorry, the fuel pump, you can see we've got some action there. That's worn pretty heavily. And this is the little plunger that rides on the camshaft that's supposed to work that. So, surprise, surprise, we found the issue there. Now we got to see how bad that cam looks and I'm suspecting it looks terrible. All right, we lifted her up, popped the wheel off so I could get a wrench in here, turn the crank over so we could get on top dead center, not top dead center, but get this lobe that runs the fuel pump up so we could actually get a look at it. All right, now you guys can see the top of that lobe, not very well, so it's only so much I can do with what I got here. But that is scored up pretty good. And so to do a 100% fix on this, what we would want to do is put a new camshaft in here. So pop that one out, put a new follower for the fuel pump and a new pump in it. But I gave the customer the option to just do the follower and the pump. I don't know if they want to pedal it or get rid of it, you know, whatever they want to do. So the camshaft's a pretty good investment. Just to pop a pump and a follower in, it's not really a big deal. So we'll see what they want to do. I don't know, maybe they owe a lot of money on it and they got no choice to get it fixed. Maybe uh, they're in good shape and like I say, they can just get out from under it. But who knows? Anyways, so we'll see what they want to do. We're just waiting for a call back. All right, guys, it's a new day. Heard from the customer. They want to go for the whole shot on this. So we're going to do camshaft, fuel pump, little follower. And then this is timing belt engine, so we're likely going to do a timing belt when we get that apart. We'll check the water pump, see what that looks like, maybe just do it. Also, if the customer requested, we do a tune-up on it, so we're going to get some plugs. But first things first, let's peel this onion, get her all ripped down, make sure there's no mystery parts I forgot. Because I got everything ordered from the dealer, and I got about a week waiting on the camshaft. So I've got that much time to get it apart and see what else I need, if anything. So let's go and... Get her ripped down. We got her all apart here. Cam's out of it. And then over here, now we can really get a good look see at it. And so basically there's just three lobes right here that run the fuel pump. And they're all kind of just rounded off. In about the shape of that. So fuel pump and a little follower again. 
So we got all this to replace now. We got our camshaft that came in, fuel pump here. And then also got the uh, water pump and timing kit we're going to put onto it at the same time and get her all fixed up. So, but this has been kind of interesting getting into this one and tearing it down. You got to use the uh, 110 piece timing kit set thing, silly Ford designs. I'm just kidding. It's not a hundred and jillion pieces, but anyway, so this is supposed to do the smaller EcoBoost motors here, this kit, so little pin goes through the crank, or uh, I'm sorry, goes through the block <clears throat> against one of the crankshaft counterweights, and that's how you find top dead center, and then there's a little lock plate for the cams and the phasers, and yada, 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 but neither here nor there, I'm not really doing a how-to, but just doing a, this could be your problem video, so anyway, this could be your problem, but interesting getting down in there and seeing how everything works, but we're gonna get her slapped back together now, new goodies, and see if we fixed anything. Time's come, I got Humpty Dumpty all back together again. Not completely, I've still got the cow off of it in case I gotta go back in here and do anything, but engine's all buttoned up here, so we're gonna fire this thing. Try to, fingers crossed, see if she fires up and if we fixed anything or created more problems. <laughs> guys seems to run good so I'm gonna go ahead and just put the tire back on it get this fender well put back together and we'll go out and drive it even without the cowl just make sure we don't have anything else going on with it went on a test drive with it it ran fine but I left the camera here in the shop so I got back and I just threw the cowl back together the wipers and stuff no big deal we'll go take it for a spin now verify that we got the concern taken care of and full power so anyways give me just a minute here before we get going, I've got desired fuel rail pressure and actual fuel pressure, fuel rail pressure pulled up here. I'm sure it's not coming through real great on the camera, but there's fuel rail pressure desired in blue, and then in orange is actual fuel rail pressure. And so you can see those are both just following each other on the scan tool so far. And then we're just going to make sure it keeps doing that, and that we got full power. Let's get her out on the road. a banshee it's only 35 through here man keep it under control we'll get up here or we can really open her up all right here we go we can open her up yeah, it's just a powerhouse but more than it was ever doing before Checking out on the scan tool here. Everything agrees. So far, so good. Throw a few more miles on it. All right, we made it back. Found a nice shady spot so everyone can see here. But on our graph, see our desired and actual are both matching the whole way across. So no discrepancies there. No check engine light. Let's go back and do a code check on it. Just make sure everything's good. We'll read fault codes. Continuous memory DTCs, no diagnostic trouble codes, so this baby's all set to go. I think we got this one all wrapped up. It ended up being a bit of a basket case, more than I care to get into on a lot of vehicles as far as getting into the engine and actually doing internal repairs, but high pressure fuel pump, follower, exhaust camshaft, timing belt, water pump, and then in customer request we did some spark plugs on it too. And got this thing all fixed up and back ready to roll, so anyways, if you're having issues like that, maybe be looking at your high pressure fuel pump, potential issue there. And again, this is just a case study. Your problem could be anything. I don't know. So I'm just trying to point people in the right direction and uh, hopefully somebody learned something. So appreciate everybody watching. We'll check you on the next one.